In today's video, we're going to talk about streaming a live show using Restream Studio versus Zoom. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Walt from Live Streaming Tech, and today Dale and I are going to discuss the pros and cons of Restream Studio and Zoom. And which one do you think we prefer and which one you prefer? If you've used them both already, go ahead and drop those comments in there now and come back and or let the video keep playing. By the way, I need to let you know though that this video has been brought to you by the fine folks at Restream.io. That's right, they have you covered when it comes to streaming to multiple platforms such as YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Periscope and more. That's right, it is super simple, dead easy. They've made it simplified to where really monkey would only be able to screw it up. So what you're probably thinking is this is gonna be a punch down video on Zoom. Not necessarily because Dale and I have both used the Zoom product and we have both used the Restream product and we're gonna go ahead and jump into this and talk about the pros and cons. So let's keep rolling. So what exactly is Zoom? Boy, it seems like all the craze here in 2020 and it doesn't seem to be letting up. In their words, Zoom is the leader in modern enterprise video communications with an easy, reliable cloud platform for video and audio conferencing, chat and webinars. To just simply put it here, you know, you, you've got, and I hate to say this, I'm gonna throw some shade on Skype or even Google Hangouts. They tend to be a little unreliable and I've found actually Zoom to be quite reliable for many video chat and conferencing needs. In fact, I typically work with some clients through Zoom, but it was kind of surprising to me when I actually saw they broke into the live streaming space. So they were taking what they were normally doing, kind of like a Skype style, Google Hangout style type thing, but then they were gonna start to broadcast to places like YouTube and Facebook or anywhere that you can get an RATMP code and plug it right on in there. What is Restream Studio? Well, Restream Studio is a browser-based tool for content creators such as myself and you to live stream to multiple different platforms. Say you have a Facebook business page and you have a Twitch account and you have a YouTube channel and you're like, oh my goodness, uh, how do I satisfy the needs of all my people on each platform well guess what that's what restream studio is there for so you can stream simultaneously to those platforms and you don't leave a single person out of that party that you're getting ready to throw Here's where it gets me scratching my head. I actually have a Zoom Pro account because I do work with some customers and clients in my other business, and I do find it very reliable for video chatting, and I didn't want to have any of the limitations. Now, I, again, didn't know about the live streaming feature, so when I found out that that was in there, you know, my brother and I spent, I would say, minutes upon minutes just trying to just trawl about on Google and find some answer on how we could actually get on there. Well, we finally went into the dash, we went into all the settings, we found where it was at, and then we discovered, oh, well, we've got to disconnect our Zoom, and then we can go ahead and reconnect it, and then it would magically appear there, and we could go ahead and stream where we wished to. So if Zoom, you're paying attention to this, try to be more transparent about how to stream because your stuff reads worse than stereo instructions written in braille for me and, and i hate to tell you i can't read braille that's the thing it's there it's through a browser you don't need to learn to use streamlabs obs or obs or xsplit or any other streaming tool you have it built right into your browser. So it is very simplified. It doesn't use that many resources. So that that is a heavy pro in my book. And now for the pros and cons of Restream Studio and Zoom. Now, we're both gonna say this, and we both agree on this. They both come in 720p, which is not too bad. It's pretty good quality. Is it 4K? No, but I'm hard pressed to see anybody out there right now doing what they're doing at 4K. So uh, 720 is more than sufficient. Now the first con, let's just get the con out of the way real quick. And it's only the one, it's not a big issue, but it could be for you. And that is with the free version, and that's right, there you have a free version. You only get 720p. That's right. You're only allowed to stream 720p to all your platforms. But with that being said, that leads us to the first pro. And the first pro is it's free. Really, how can you knock 
free. Okay, so here's the con, all right? Uh, Zoom, unfortunately, if you want to live stream, you have to have a pro account. And that's going to cost you $14.99 per month. Now, see, I bought mine in advance, so I was able to get it at $12.49 per month. Now, as you're kind of going, oh, well, you know, hang on a second, Dale, that's, that's not too bad. I would recommend if you take a look at Restream, the fact that just for $5 more, they have so many more features available to you than what you're gonna get through Zoom. It's not to throw any shade on Zoom, but Zoom's really great for doing video chat and conferencing, but to me, if you're gonna pay the upgrade for live streaming, go to the platform that specializes in that. The next pro, and oh my goodness, this is probably the top of my list, and that is Restream's chat. Oh my goodness, not only is the chat nice, clean, and simple, but is also aggregated out to all your platforms. So what that means is instead of having 500 different chats open from each one of your platforms, and you have it taking up precious monitor space, if you're like me, it breaks it down into one chat to where you can keep track of it all on one chat as a streamer so you're not spinning as many plates as you are live and lord knows we know how live streams go sometimes and sometimes never goes without a hitch so what more than to have everyone in a single chat and that and it will show you as they chat what platform they're chatting to you from and there's also other bells and whistles in there that we can get really heavily into but actually we covered that in an earlier video i think you're gonna want to click that up there if you want to check that out yeah but let's keep rolling here's the con zoom has no chat integration other than speaking with the people that you are speaking with say live so let's say for instance i have a number of guests on my live chat through zoom i can chat to them but when it comes to actually broadcasting to the platform and getting say youtube's chat or facebook's chat or twitch's chat I'd, i have to go and open up a bunch of different windows and before i know it my whole stream's going to probably end up being laggy because i have all of these different windows open so yeah no chat integration and especially no aggregation that is a lot of aggravation Okay, so since I've been beating up Zoom a little bit, let's go ahead and talk about some of the pros. And one of the big pros is the fact that Zoom has name recognition. So, I mean, gosh, you see everyone and their mother using it. I've seen it on SNL. I saw it on Jimmy Kimmel. I've seen it on Conan O'Brien. Everyone is using Zoom. So there is a lot of name value in this, but that's not to take anything away from Restream. Let's get down to a con that really is not a super huge con for me because I've known about Restream for a while now, and that is name recognition. So when you compare it to Zoom, which everyone's been using as of late, as everyone's been locked in their homes due to a certain virus, you have Ellen DeGeneres and the crew from Saturday Night Live using Zoom, where over here, you know, we need we need Matthew McConaughey to use Restream, maybe to give it a little bit more brand recognition. But don't count them out of the mix because they have had their hand in streaming there for quite a few years now. And they, they don't don't count them out because of the fact that Ellen's not using them or the crew from Saturn Live. Um, that's definitely not a big con in my list, but maybe it is for yours. And the other pro for doing Zoom is, of course, the virtual background and green screen. I mean, all right, all right, all right. Matthew McConaughey? Hey, Dale, I just wanted to tell you, great job. But come on, man, this green screen is JoJo. It is straight up potato quality. Come on, you got to get rid of it. All right, all right, all right. And... There's another con that some people might think is a con. I don't know, but where's the cringy green screen? Yeah, the Zoom cringy green screen that everyone seems to want to use with the beach background or whatever and stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm using a green screen right now. Maybe that's not my actual bed and maybe that's not my actual Chester Hutch with my clothes in it. I don't know. But one thing I do know is you definitely need to give Restream Studio a try. It is free. And all you have to do is type in livestreamingtech.com forward slash 
Restream, and that will get you started. And once you get dabbling in it, come back, leave your comments, let us know what you think. But until then, check out this video right over here, which was our last Restream video. We talked about streaming to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and more. Or you can check out this one here, where it's one of our fan favorites, and that is the Restream Chat. You are going to love the Restream Chat. Check that video out right there. Till then, see you around.